Well, James Dyson, once again, uh, in the news, because when James Dyson in the news, quite frankly, just deserves good kicking. Um, you know, this is a guy who goes, I am supporting Brexit, um, I am helping to fund the campaign, you know, it's going to be uh, amazing for Britain, it's going to be, you know, really good for us as a company, um, Brexit happens, and what does he do? He moves to Singapore. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you can't make that up. And he's not the only businessman to do this. Um, obviously, Jacob Rees-Mogg's firm moved its entire, uh, two entire uh, lots of assets over to Dublin. So, two lots of assets of his in the EU. Not in the UK. But apparently, the UK is going to be great. <laughs> you know? Oh, but anyway, here we are. Brexiteer Dyson buys Singapore's most effective penthouse after announcing HQ move. The apartment is the city's most expensive penthouse, the Daily Mail reports, costing Dyson between 44 million and 59 million. It covers three floors, contains five bedrooms, including a rooftop swimming pool and jacuzzi. Uh, official records show that Dyson and his partner took out a 99-year lease hold on the property on the June 20th. You know, this is... Com and bear in mind, because um, Dyson has moved his hate's queue... He now comes under the Singaporean code of tax rather than the UK tax code, which basically now means he pays less tax. And it all goes to Singapore, not the UK. This is coming from a guy that helped to champion Brexit, saying what an amazing thing it would be uh, when Britain leaves. So, given, given the decision to locate the headquarters in Singapore and the growing focus of the company's business in the region, of course James Dyson has bought a property there, a Dyson spokesperson said. The business move from Wiltshire to Singapore means it will no longer be registered as a British company and Singapore will be its main tax base. Dyson said back in 2016, ahead of the Brexit referendum vote, we will create more wealth and more jobs by being outside the EU. We will be in control of our destiny. And control, I think, is the most important thing in life and in business. The last thing you'd ever want to do, uh, ever want to do, is to put myself in somebody else's hands, not just uh, the other countries, but the Brussels bureaucrats. He added, why on earth would you chuck out researchers with that valuable technology, which they then can take back to China or Singapore and use it against us? But early in the year, he denied the move was linked to Brexit. He told The Telegraph, my personal views on Britain's departure from the European Union did not come into our recent decision to move Dyson's head office. I think Britain has a hugely exciting future once it leaves the European Union, and Dyson will continue to invest and grow here. Which, it has done none. So, I hope as a form of boycott, Brexiteers will be throwing out their uh, Dyson products and refusing to dry their hands in, in Dyson's dryers because after all this was a guy who supported Brexit and has basically done a runner. <laughs> you can't you can't make this up. This is the type of guy who was promoting Brexit because Brexit does nothing but help the rich and the wealthy of this country. <sighs> um, <clears throat> at the time of the announcement, Lib Dem MP Lara Mora from the Best for Britain said, This is a staggering hypocrisy for Brexit-backing businessman James Dyson. It is utterly unbelievable that the business face of Brexit is moving to another part 
it is, is moving yet another part of his business out of the UK. James Dyson can say whatever he wants, but he is ditching Britain. This can only be seen as a vote of no confidence for the idea of Brexit Britain. Rather than fleeing, can I suggest that maybe he donates to the Final Say campaign to help mop up some of the disaster he created? And I sincerely hope um, he does so. And, you know, I hope that, uh, quite frankly, Brexiteers should vilify this guy. After all, he's done a runner. He's, quote, not believed enough uh, in the Brexit Britain. And, you know... He's, he's left. He's moved another part of his country, of his, of his sorry, country, of his business out of the country. His main tax base is no longer the UK. It's Singapore, where he pays less tax. Why do you think he's moved? <sighs> you know, it's almost like the EU had rules that it just brought in to help uh, tax such companies that, that do this so that they can't move billions of dollars in, in, in pounds in profit out of the country so it can't be taxed. Hmm. I wonder why so many big businesses back Brexit. Hmm. 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 Such a, such a, you know, a hard decision to make. <laughs> 